Hey folks, welcome to Testing Hacks. In this video, we are going to see what are test scenarios. Most of the time, people will get confused between what is test case and what is test scenario. In this video, we will understand what is test scenarios are and uh, it is one of the important interview question as well. Before we begin, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get more updates. Test scenario is nothing but a high level test case which directly verifies a functional or business need without getting too much granular level of testing. A test scenario can be further broken down into many test cases. When a functionality is defined, each expected behavior of the functionality should have a test scenario to check its functioning. A good practice is to add both positive as well as a negative scenario. Let's say you are in front of the ATM machine. So what the first scenario that you are going to perform in uh, when you are in front of ATM machine? Just you will insert an ATM card. This is one of the scenario. So this it identifies it isn't just an high level test case. Okay, high level documentation which which will be having a single line uh, what to perform. But when it comes to test cases, test case it can be further divided. Suppose uh, inserting a card is one scenario. In the te at test case level, you can write whether uh, the card is a valid card. Okay. And then next is uh, if you are you know inserting the card in an opposite way, what should happen? It should not, which means that it, it will not identify that card, right? And also once you enter the card, what is the next scenario? Is to enter the pin, right? With valid pin, what should happen? So this is the high level scenario, which is uh, which is telling us that enter the pin validate the pin functionality say okay which in test case perspective which can be further divided into what should happen when you enter valid pin okay and what should happen when you enter invalid pin so uh, that is the difference major difference between test case and test scenario is okay and let's understand so uh, if, why do we uh, what is the need to write the test scenario then so basically, by creating the test scenario, it ensures the complete coverage, okay? So that you are covering, uh, say there is a requirement that has been given for you. For each of the requirement, you will write a test scenario and the test scenario, you can further divide it, in, divide it into test case. And the, uh, when it comes to test case, a test case can be further divided into test steps, right? So this is how the actual flow goes on. They serve as a quick tool to determine the testing work effort and helps accordingly to create a proposal for the client or organize the workforce. It helps in uh, studying the end-to-end -end function, uh, functioning of the program. It provides a high-level overview of what conditions are tested. So basically, when you when you are in an uh, organization, right, you might face a uh, situation where the business might ask you to provide all the test case document, which will be having all the test scenarios. At on basis of test scenarios itself, they can judge what is the amount or what is the uh, percentage of testing that has been covered. Okay. How to create a test scenario? Test scenario can be created on basis of the requirement. So this is one of the major thing. So when once you get the requirement, you will first create a test scenario. Okay, on basis of the test scenario, you are going to write your test case. For each requirement, figure out possible scenario and user can perform. Draft the scenarios for both positive and negative cases and make sure it is meeting all the acceptance criteria. One thing is you have to cover it for both valid as well as invalid scenarios. So as I mentioned in an ATM scenario where what should happen when you enter a valid 
pin and what should happen when when you enter an invalid pin so these can be further divided into some different one uh, in invalid case you can further divide it into what should happen when you enter rather than four digit pin if you are entering three digit pin what should happen so it can be further divided right in such a manner okay uh, so you make sure that you are covering from both positive as well as a negative side keep in mind that each test scenario should be tied into a minimum of one requirement or the user story and finally get all your test scenarios reviewed from the business or your stakeholders so you are ensuring that you are uh, getting maximum coverage you are covering as much as possible okay oh sorry mm. So let's see an example. Uh, here I have taken an example of Gmail login page, which basically consists of only a field or text box, which does contain only an email or phone. You can log in through either email or phone. And also you can perform the uh, forgot email and also what should happen on click of next button. So I have covered a minimum or basic validations here uh, from test scenario perspective. Okay. Let's understand. Validate that user is able to enter valid email address on sign in page. Validate that user is able to navigate to next screen, uh, which will actually ask you to enter the password on click of next button by entering the valid email address. Validate error message is displayed on entering invalid email address. Validate that user is able to perform forgot email by accessing forgot email link. Verify if a user can log in with valid email address and password. Validate that user is able to log in with valid phone number. And also uh, error message should be displayed on entering invalid phone number. So these are just in basic that I have covered. So you can comment out further scenarios, whatever you are having in your mind, you can just comment it out in the comment box. Please do like, share. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.